Hey guys, it's uh, Stephen Freeborn here from FreebornTrainingSystems.com and real quick, I just want to give you this tip about the importance of getting comfortable being uncomfortable. Uh, it's a saying that my, my strength coach uh, from high school, Mike Lawrence, used to say a lot during practices and, and workouts and granted he meant it in more of a, a sport and training realm, but I think it applies to uh, you know most, most of all of life and you know my own experiences I found that the limiting factor a lot of times in my ability to grow as a person and to grow in the areas of my life uh, that I want to succeed in is largely dependent on my, on my willingness to put myself in situations where I am uncomfortable because um, those uncomfortable situations are where that growth occurs. Uh, you know, Joseph Campbell has this quote where he says, uh, the cave you fear to enter holds the treasure you seek. And I think that's a really simple but profound way of, of saying that that feeling of being uncomfortable, that feeling of fear uh, about something is a pretty good indicator that you're, you're moving in the direction you need to be moving in. It's an indication that you're pushing your abilities, you're testing your limits, you're putting yourself in situations where failure is a likely consequence. But it's also that failure uh, that's going to give you those lessons that you can use to grow and adapt and, and improve your skills and improve your, uh, your, your character. Uh, you know, I think it, that fear is something that a lot of the times we let overcome us and hold us back from doing those things. The, the fear we see as an indicator of something bad, but really the, the fear is really an indicator of, hey, that is what you have to take action on next. That is the thing you need to tackle. And I know from my own experience that uh, one of the biggest fears I had was trying to run my own business and opening uh, my own business. And, you know, I was put into a situation where that decision literally had to be made within a 24, 48 hour period. And it was a very, very tough, very, very scary decision for me because while I am a, or what I think uh, it, uh, as a great coach, not the best, but I, I think I'm pretty good at what I do. I'm not a business person. I, I, I've not taken any business classes. No one's ever taught me how to run a small business. So, uh, you know, to say, hey, I'm going to put myself out there, not only as the coach and the trainer, but I'm going to put myself out at, there as the bookkeeper, as the janitor, as the CEO, as the person who's going to be in charge of sales and marketing was really scary and I was really afraid about doing it. I, you know, putting my putting myself on the line, my 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 soon to be wife's future on the line, possibly putting ourselves in in financial straits because I might not lack the skills or ability to make it happen. Uh, and that could have been a defining moment where I chose to run from that fear and use that fear as an indicator of something not to do. But you know, that fear told me that that was what I needed to do. That was the next step. If I wanted to grow in my career as a person, uh, I wanted to learn new skills and, and grow overall as a person, that was the step I needed to take. And because I took that step, I have relished so many benefits and learned so much and developed uh, relationships that I will forever be grateful for. And I hope that you guys understand that sentiment and that a lot of you probably do from your own experiences have taken that leap you were afraid to take and it made all the difference. Uh, you know, so I want to kind of leave you guys with this one last quote from my boy Yoda who says, fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, and ultimately hate leads to suffering. And I want that quote to, to really hit home with you because I think fear is one of the most poisonous emotions we can allow to take hold in, in our life. It will keep you from doing the things you should be doing. It will keep you from reaching uh, the potential that you have. It will keep you from being the person you're supposed to be and it will keep you from, from living the life you've been called to live and the impact that you've been called to have on this world. Uh, you 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 really have to watch out and, you, and, and not use fear as an indicator of something bad or wrong, but use fear as an indicator that something you're doing is making you uncomfortable. And that, that, that feeling of being uncomfortable is where the growth is going to happen. So you need to take that fear and turn it into action and move on whatever that thing is that's got you afraid and move immediately. Don't wait. Take action now. 
Uh, so remember that. You know, ultimately fear leads to, to suffering. And that's nothing any of us ever want to experience. We want to live the lives we deserve and the lives we've been called to live and, and, and deal the impact to this world that we've been called to have. Um, so I hope that helps. I hope it's not too cheesy or corny for you, but it's something I really believe in wholeheartedly. And I think it's something that we need to hear more of every day um, and encourage each other to, to, to be brave, to take that leap, uh, to overcome that fear and to move and move forward. Uh, so I hope that helps. I hope you guys are having a great day. have had a great week. I hope you kick some ass. Uh, I hope you continue to kick some ass. Um, and until we talk next time, I hope you guys have a great, great, great time. And, um, and uh, don't let fear stop you.